So finally, your case has been assigned to an EEOC judge. Congratulations. It feels great until you get hit with your employer's request for discovery and find out they want 10 years of your medical records. 10 years? Seriously? 10 years? Now maybe most employees just meekly hand over their records. I was not one of those. So maybe some of the strategies I use will help you protect your own medical information. First, in your response, you should explain your limitations to the judge. When NASA asked for my records, I wasn't sure I could give them to them, even if I felt great, and I didn't. And then I panicked because I only had two weeks to answer the request. And I didn't want to leave something out by accident, only to have NASA discover it later. Provide what you can and don't stress about the rest. I started trying to gather all my records, but I didn't get very far with that. The lead doctor on my case at a well-known research hospital actually balked at my request for more information for NASA. She had already written several letters to NASA explaining what my occupational limitations were and suggesting they accommodate me. And my boss had refused to read any of those letters. So my doctor responded to NASA's request for discovery with one final letter. She stated her previous letters had covered everything that she was medically able to tell them about my case. She had nothing more to add. And she ended by saying that her time was valuable and she'd like to be able to spend it on her patients who had legitimate medical needs. I didn't ask her to do that, by the way. She volunteered. Now, your doctor may not volunteer, but there is nothing wrong with you encouraging them to express any frustrations they may have in their response to your request. And it's certainly appropriate along the way to let your doctor know about any frustrations that you're having. They may not be able to fix it for you, but they need to know about the stressor. Three, check your employer's list of proposed stipulations. You should have gotten along with their request for discovery. Now, some employers make an issue over whether an employee actually has a disability that's covered by the ADA. But NASA had already stipulated that I had a disability and it was covered under the ADA. I questioned the need for 10 years of medical records to establish that I had a disability they had already stipulated to. Four, push back on the scope of their requests. Employers get by with ignoring our requests for discovery all the time by calling them overly broad and cumbersome. You can try the same thing. Ask that your employer be more specific about the kinds of records they're looking for and why they believe those records are material to their case. Accuse your employer of overreach, of mining your private health information for records they can use to set up a false pretext that you are somehow unworthy of your rights because something is wrong with you as if that somehow justifies their discrimination. Your right to a discrimination-free workplace isn't something you have to earn. It's given by law. And also, at EEOC, any mental illness that had a negative impact on your job performance might be considered another disability, not a character flaw that somehow justifies your employer's discrimination. EEOC doesn't marginalize people for being mentally ill the way your employer may. In fact, if you end up winning your case, that may actually increase your damages. I can't imagine any judge giving your employer 10 years of medical records in the light of objections like these. Judges tend to be pretty low drama. My judge at EEOC was no exception. He carefully managed the scope of my hearing and he kept it as narrow as possible. NASA wasn't even allowed to introduce any evidence that predated my disability. So when you get hit with your employer's insane request for 10 years of medical records, Take a deep breath, and then fight like hell. Fight smart, hang in to win.